Hello, my name's Karina Thompson, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the basic level of the MySonet embroidery software. If you're interested in digital embroidery or are a subscriber or have bought MySonet embroidery software, please subscribe to our channel and that way you won't miss any of our videos. So, I am on the mysonet.com website. You might find it useful to watch my earlier video creating a mysonet account so you understand how we've got reached this stage. So, I am on mysonet.com. I've logged into my mysonet account and if I go to the tools tab over here, the option here is to go to the download page. And I always find this the easiest way to do it because the tools tab is always in the top right hand page wherever you are on the MySonet website. So I'm going to click on here and this takes me to the download page. Now the most important thing that you need to know at this point is are you on a Windows PC or a Mac? Um, I'm on a PC. The stages will be the same uh, if you have a Mac. Okay, so let's actually just going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the download uh, button here. And you can see I've got the download started up on here. Whilst that's going on, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about whilst uh, that's downloaded. Some things that you might find useful on this page. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. These are the minimum uh, requirements that your system will need if it's a PC and these are the minimum requirements for the Mac. Basically your computer needs to be at least at that level for the software to function properly. So let's talk about some of the optional downloads. I would strongly recommend that you go with the um, Explorer plugin. That allows you to uh, view your embroideries as thumbnails when you're using Explorer. The extended background set allows you to uh, view your embroideries, particularly if you've got a paid for version of the software on a range of backgrounds, for instance, like a polo shirt or a baseball cap, or indeed there's a range of quilting fabrics. So that's quite a useful uh, tool to have. Um, some people like to connect their computer uh, with a cable direct to their sewing machine. Uh, the third option would be the driver for that. And the fourth option is sample files for some of the exercises. And on the Mac option, it's for the background set and the sample files, just so that you know. So let's have a look at how uh, that download is going. So I'm going to go to my download folder and you can see that um, uh, the MySonet embroidery download is there so I'm going to uh, click on that to open that up. So this is the install wizard for MySonet so I'm going to click next. I'm not going to worry about changing any of the defaults so I'm just going to click next again. I'm going to click next again and then I'm going to click install. Now you might have a message come up on your computer saying uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I would suggest you say yes. You can see I've got the um, uh, progress bar coming through and the install wizard is saying it's completed so I can click finish. And so I am going to go to my desktop and you can see here I've got a shortcut on here that says my Sonet. So let's actually open up the software. So I'm going to double click on it and again the um, icon down here is saying embroidery so I'm going to double click on that to open up the software. Now you might find that you have a, a dialog box that opens up like this that says um, basically um, uh, uh, you have no activations, many features will be unavailable. Well that's because 
we are downloading the free software. We haven't parted with any money. We haven't taken out a subscription. We haven't bought the software. This is the free basic level of the software that we are looking to access. If you wanted to upgrade, you could click on manage my subscription there, but I'm just going to uh, uh, click continue. So this is the welcome screen and I am going to click blank canvas, start a new project with no content. I'll be asked what size hoop I, uh, I want to uh, apply. I'm just going to uh, go with uh, the settings that are offered there. And then if I click on this little icon up here that says insert, I can put an embroidery in here. And if I go on my desktop, I know that I have a folder marked embroideries and I've got an embroidery in here and you can see that I can now begin to it might be that I want to combine it with other embroideries there are some various other things to do with copying and duplicating um, but what I also can then do um, is I can either choose to do the center my sonet or I can do file export and uh, this would be to put uh, that embroidery onto a USB stick and if I click on this pull down arrow here you will see we have all the main file formats for most of the embroidery uh, machines that are on the market okay um, that allows you to choose in actual fact I'm just going to cancel that if you found this a useful video showing you how to download and install the free basic level of the MySonet software, subscribe to our channel so you can find out more about this great embroidery system. Happy sewing!